Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for HotHardware.com, and we're here at the Intel RealSense demo in New York City. We're with Kira and Sanjay from Personify, and they have some pretty interesting technology for the Intel RealSense camera, right guys? Hey Dave, thanks hey. for uh, talking with us. Thanks for having us. Let's take a look at what you got going on here, Sanjay. Great. We're Personify, as you pointed out. What we do is we use RealSense technology to create an immersive collaboration experience. Let's have a look. All right. So what we have here, Dave, are two laptops um, that have RealSense devices embedded in them. And we're using the RealSense technology to drive a immersive video collaboration between me, Kira, and Nick. Nick happens to be in Illinois. Nice. Nick can hear us, but we can't hear him. Okay. Um, and what we're doing is we're using the RealSense technology to, re as you're seeing, we're moving our backgrounds, uh, sort of like a dynamic green screen, mm -hmm. real-time green screen. And by doing that, we're immersing ourselves into our digital content. So we can have a video chat. We can pop up a window and share that window. Hey, Nick, want to share a window? So he's going to share a window. Okay. And we're going to be able to see that window without it taking without the video streams taking up a lot of screen real estate. Nice. So he's sharing his desktop right now. He's sharing, yeah, a window off his desktop. Yep. Yep. He could be sharing a, um, a video, we could be watching Netflix together, we could be playing a game together, and our video elements don't get in the way of enjoying the content. Nice. That's really the, the benefit. So you could share spreadsheets, video, any, anything that you're, you have running on your local system, your client system, and, and anybody that's joining the conversation can share it as well, can share exactly. what they want with the group. Exactly. Nice. And, and, the, and the idea is that, you know, you can share and have the video be a constructive part of that dialogue, as opposed to separate windows that are overlapping with the content. Sure. And and can you move people around and, and view, or do they have to stay there in the bottom tray? Kira, you want to move people around? Yeah, absolutely. You can actually move people wherever you want on the screen. Reorganize them, resize them if you want to do that. Make them smaller if you're gaming together and want to see more of the screen. You have a lot that of is flexibility. Just <laughs> Watching you talk as you move yourself around, flying through the air with the greatest of ease. Yeah, that's cool. the beauty of it. Well, thanks very much. Great technology from Personify at the Intel Real Sense event in New York. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Dave. Okay, here we go. So now lean, lean your body. Other way, lean all the other way. Yeah. There you go. Whoa! You're getting close. See the reticle and see that plane in front of you. Now you're doing a good job of flying without blasting it, which is good. Now you're gonna blast it, you're getting close. All right, so I lean back and I can pan up. Yep, you're really fine. Now go forward, you wanna get that reticle up. Whoop, now back. All right. There he is. Oh, you got him! Yes, you It only took me like way too long. No, that's all right, you got to see flying for a while. You know, early prototype version of flying. Cool right. stuff. Yeah, there you go, there we go. Now we got it. It's got you, see? Yeah. Whoa. So look up. Yeah, keep your head kind of in the same place and just, and then look down. Yeah, there you go. And then look up again. There you go. It's got you. And then you look inside towards me a little bit. Yeah. 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 That is freaky. That's a little freaky, right? That is. Wow. Yeah, it's really connected to you now. There you go. Nice. What would you like to eat? What type of food? Uh, Pick something? I love sushi, personally. Okay. I don't think I have any sushi recipes. Or it's a go Italian. You can't go wrong with Italian. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's find the Italian. Oh. Okay. Or pasta. So, what do you mean? Let's see. Oh, we do the rock. Oh, we do with shrimp scampi. Hi, right, there we go. It's gonna work. It'll work every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's two main ways that we've leveraged technology. Um, one is using hand gestures. So if I can scoot over here, I'll show you. Um, just by putting your hand in front of the camera, you'll see we've activated a sensor, and you can essentially scroll up and down very simply with uh, with your hand. Um, also, you can use your voice. Scroll. Oh, actually, I have this headset just because it was, it was loud earlier. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll down. Scroll down. 
um, play a video. Nice. So there's a video functionality too. A lot of our recipes have videos, and if you if you want to follow along that way, you can. Very simple, not you know nothing, nothing high barrier to entry. I understand. Pause video. It's very valuable, right? Yeah. In the kitchen, you're all you're all busy with up to your elbows and like flour. And exactly. You don't want to muck with the screen. Right. Right. Exactly. Right. You're so what you're doing is you're collecting the building blocks to recreate a memory uh, from this astronaut. And the idea is that once you uh, create enough memories, you will have a picture of what that astronaut, what that astronaut's life was. So you can see up here um, some new icons have appeared. So I've unlocked the ability to go and start to build a memory now. So I hold my hands over those, they fill in, and now we warp to uh, the memory harmonizing phase, where you actually build it using those molecules you've collected. Uh, you guide your laser uh, just by tilt, like tipping your hand up and down. Fingertips work best, um, you know. And of course, we'll train the player through tutorials and stuff, right? As you go. Uh, so I'm trying to fly through all of these gates, and as as I fly through the gates, you see these white lasers around my orange laser. They start to um, to they turn orange and they join my main laser, like that just happened. And once all of those uh, all of those white lasers have joined my main laser. The memory is basically harmonized and complete, and you can now make it a real, a real tangible thing, and then examine it. So, this memory that we're experiencing is a an early childhood memory of the astronaut, and so you can see like toys flying around, and you know, but just like all of our actual memories, it's all pretty vague. There's nothing super specific, right, if you're trying to remember that far back. But you do remember like M&Ms, and you remember little action figures, and your toy trains and stuff. But it's only the super, super powerful memories that of like things that were very, very meaningful to you, especially as a child, that really stick with you. And that is what we're building here at the end. And you can see that form taking shape here. And as it starts to grow, you have to, like, it's, now that memory is full, and you have to grab it with your hands, you make these fists, and you keep your fists uh, within these uh, green circles, right? And this, right now, we're flying back from memory space, uh, sort of teleporting into real physical space. And so this is your spaceship here, where the astronaut is in actual physical outer space. And then you use, like, your Emperor Palpatine powers to um, energize the astronaut with all of your memory and energy that you've, that you've collected. And then that is what, what allows the astronaut, albeit a dead astronaut, <laughs> to manifest the physicality of the teddy bear memory. And so, yeah.